it's pretty obvious that uh, that, that's a little bit of a problem. Let's talk about how you can fix it. Hey, this is Man Made Mead. I wanna tell you one quick tip on how to get rid of headspace on top of your mead. Uh, it's not anything that's revolutionary, but it is something that helps has helped me out. So here you can see that I have some uh, marbles that are just regular old glass marbles. I got them at the dollar store. Um, and I put them in some star sand water, which is this right here. And this star sand water is basically just sanitizing them and getting rid of any bad bacteria. Here's what I'm gonna do. I've been soaking these for a few minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and drain the water off real fast. And um, then we're gonna fill up this empty space, this air space on top of this mead with these marbles. Again, not revolutionary, but the reason we do this is because this air on top of this mead will oxygenate it, which uh, kind of kind of kills a mead in a way, kills the flavor and gets rid of the really nice product that you have. So uh, let me drain this water off and then we are going to add them on top. Okay, so I've drained the water off of these and they're sanitized. My hands are sanitized too because I dipped them in that water before. So I'm gonna take and I'm gonna put my marbles just straight in. Now, one thing I do wanna caution you with um, is you can kind of see as I just put a few of them in, it started to stir up everything. One thing you need to do before you put your marbles in is make sure that there's not a lot of sediment at the bottom. And the reason you know we do that is because once you put the marbles into here, when you are auto siphoning out, um, you really it's harder to get the auto siphon all the way to the bottom. So you can still get to the bottom of it, but if you have less mead at the bottom, or sorry, less sediment at the bottom, you're not gonna worry about that cake stuff. Anyways, there's a little bit of sediment in this one. I'm gonna finish filling this up. Okay, so that's all my marbles. Again, it's stirred up a little bit. There was a small amount of sediment at the bottom, so nothing too crazy. Um, that's how I have been filling up my headspace on my carboys and my you know, half gallon glass fermenters like this. Really simple. Um, one little tip aside, or alongside this is if you are going to make a gallon mead, I recommend that you ferment in a bucket that is bigger than a gallon and you actually make your mead a little bit bigger than that gallon. Maybe make it 1.2 gallons. So after your sediment in the primary, you are ending up with about a gallon. If you ferment in a carboid like this, what happens is, and you have one gallon of, of liquid, you are probably gonna end up with less than one gallon because of the sediment. So that's just part of my little tip to you. I hope that this has helped. The marbles have really helped me. They're pretty cheap. Obviously you can reuse them once you, um, you know, do this once you are finished with this mead and uh, that's helpful. So, uh, of course, this is gonna long-term age like this now and can more comfortably do so because it doesn't have as much headspace on it. I hope this tip has helped if you want to support the channel. Um, if you wanna subscribe and see more content like this as well as other things, make sure you hit the subscribe button and like on this video. Let me know, do you have any other tips for how you actually get rid of headspace on a mead without of course just drinking the mead because we all want to do that. So thank you guys, have a great day, cheers.